Hey. Ooh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm out of practice. Just trying to figure out if I have fan noise on in the background. Let's take a look. Hold on. Ah, there we go. <clears throat> I do apologize if there is a little bit of fan noise, but it is still uh, getting quite warm. It was really nice all morning. So nice. It's that, that kind of weather I'm looking for. I want fall here. Oh, so bad. But, ain't here yet. And I gotta wait for a probably awfully, or probably terribly hot September. If, I, if I'm being honest with myself and the way that our climate currently is. Anyway, let's not start off on a bummer, huh? <laughs> I haven't done this in like four or five months. I think the last time I did this, I had COVID, <laughs> which was a great time to stream. Um, I was back at the old house. First off, hello. Welcome back if you are watching this live. And if you happen to be watching this later on on a recording, well, hello as well. It has been a while since I've done this, and I need to get back in practice. Because I have a new setup. I have a new house. I'm a homeowner now. Let's not brag about it. It just happened. It's just cool. I'm just look at this. I have an office now. Woo! So cool. I paint, I can paint walls now. That's why I have this nice green in here. Love it. And hopefully, um, my wife doesn't have to hear me uh, jibber jabber to the internet quite as much as she used to. Um, back at the old place. So I'm just glad that I don't rent anymore, but now I've had to become quite well versed in how toilets work. Apparently <laughs> that has been like the number one thing I've had to fix as a homeowner is toilets, toilets and, and figuring out how to identify when trees are dying. That's been fun. Cause I gotta get some water in the, like I said, it's been a while since I've talked on the internet, so my throat's already drying up. Uh, it also helps that for the last two weeks, I've been battling some kind of sinus infection. Out of nowhere. Um, for about the span of three days, my right ear started to ring uh, just nonstop for like I said, three days straight ringed. And it wasn't like a loud ring. It was soft and in the background, but then I would sleep at night and it would drive me crazy. <laughs> I just, I could not, I literally could not sleep. Um, and I had a doctor's appointment and they just recommended I do like nasal decongestant and just see what, what works. Uh, see if that helps. And it did. Um, but then after that, I had a really bad cough for about a week almost. And that's when I uh, started to think that it was probably a sinus infection because it was definitely nasal drip. Could definitely feel it in the background, which is awful. I was coughing constantly. I didn't take a COVID test. I didn't have COVID again. <laughs> Thank goodness. Um, but yeah, that was fun. Had to deal with that. But I'm pretty much back to normal now. I might have a cough here and there. Welcome back from the ad break. Sorry about that. Just recapping me having a random sinus infection for the last two weeks. Um, yeah, but I'm, I'm good. I'm glad to be back. Glad to be doing something different and new with the stream. I've wanted to do some kind of mod, like I've been, I'm no modding expert, but I, I dabble a little whenever it's not too hard <laughs> and I don't have to solder things. I have a soldering kit. I just don't trust myself with the soldering kit yet. Me, you know, I've opened up some consoles. I tried, I have successfully repaired one Xbox 360 red ring. I don't know if it still works. I have it in my closet that I have not hooked up to the consoles behind me. So that's another fun thing. It's all blurry. I'll keep it blurry for now, but 
I have wall mounted a TV, which I need to get a better one for in here. But let's be honest, I'm not really hanging out in here after work. I'm just sort of, this is where I keep all my old consoles. I'm down in here. You might recognize this blurry bit down here, but this is my bookshelf that I've now converted into the console shelf. I have everything set up in there. I did a really bad job of <laughs> trying to cut holes for the cables to go through. And then I bought um, some thin desk grommets. So I'm like, oh, perfect. I'll drill a hole. Nice. You know, I'll get a circle saw. I already have that. I'll drill it through. Put the grommets in, put the cables through that, perfect. Um, I did the first one and I just thought oh, I should be able to just uh, keep it on without taking the back plate off <clears throat> and drill right through it. That was a mistake. That thing hopped around so much. It. <laughs> I have so many marks and stuff on that one that I just stopped doing it for the other ones. So I need to take off the back board. It's not even a board. It's like, it's better than particle board, but not by much. It's like very thin wood. Um, I need to take that off and actually like put it flat on something and, or, you know, get some saw horses or whatever and actually like drill it in a more stable way than I chose to do so. But... <laughs> Um, that's the, that'll be a project for another time because I've been doing, I've been painting rooms, I've been patching drywall, a lot of wallpaper, so much wallpaper place, but, um, it's all coming together and now I have some free time to mess around with this. And what are we doing? Well, let me switch over to this new view have, and then I'm going to kick on some background music for our build today. Ooh, desk cam. That's not exactly center, but hey, we're gonna live with it. <laughs> It'll work. Um, yeah, we'll go over here. It'll be a little off center, but it's fine. Mm. Yeah, that'll work. So, so this is flipped around for you guys, so I will hold it up this way this is one of four n64 controllers so actually right behind me is my n64 that i was just sort of gifted by one of my friends thank you very much andy <clears throat> um and they were just like you can have the n64 in the games we don't have space for it we have a kid <laughs> i was like cool <laughs> I don't have a kid and too much time and space, so I'll take it. <laughs> so anyway, I have this. I have four controllers, and I have, uh, you know, I mean, I feel like when people talk about the N64, it's these clear purple ones are the ones that people are the most nostalgic for. It's not my favorite one, if I'm honest, but the reason I'm modding this one is because... Ooh, I'm shaking. I gotta, I gotta not... <laughs> <laughs> everything's on a desk gotta not shake so much uh i chose this one because the buttons are actually still in pretty good shape and the other ones i have are not not in the best shape um all right let me kick on some background music and probably turn it down so it's not too loud Oop, not that one yeah there we go uh where are we at about 30 Probably keep it there, maybe turn it down a little bit, but one oop, yep, that's too loud. I don't want that loud. Yeah, that's something in the background. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. If that's too loud, let me know. Actually. Let me do this real fast. I'm just gonna Turn the monitor off for one quick second, and I'm just gonna listen to how it sounds. Okay. Yeah, there's a little bit. Bump that up, I think. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, I forgot about the chat bot in. Look at me. I know what I'm doing. Now let's go back and I want to put the monitor back on. There we go. Yeah, I specifically picked the cafe playlist for this. All right. Hey, Paul. Thanks for thanks for stopping in. I go see you later. <laughs> All right. So this is what we're doing. This is the let me move this over here so we can get to it. This is the mod kit for the N64. Um, so I bought it originally. My <laughs> Well, I first like put it in the cart and then already completed the purchase. I thought it was a wireless pack to work with the N64, but it's a kit that turns it into a wireless controller to work with your Switch or just Bluetooth and other things. And for like half a second, I was like, hmm. And I was like, no, because I have the N64, um, stuff on the switch and if i'm ever if we're ever gonna beat if, paul if we're ever gonna go back to majora's mask that's the only way it's gonna happen because we learned the hard way that the n64 can't handle it so not only do i have this kit that will turn this into a switch controller and a wireless one at that but it also adds a rumble pack to it which is great because i have no rumble packs um but then the other thing I bought is this right here, which is a new joystick uh, for the controller, which is great because this one is hot garbage. Like, let's, let's get some of that action on it. Oh, yeah. And I have to pay me $4.99 on my OnlyFans. I keep seeing more of that. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a new joystick mod as well and um it's a hall effect joystick and if you don't know what a hall effect joystick is i think it's magnetic what it is but it doesn't um it won't have drift so that's why a lot there's a lot of mods out there for switch controllers that do hall effect joysticks because not put the Hall Effect sticks in uh, the switch to save money, and that's why we have drift. So, Hall Effect is Hall Effect also? A, a, of course, it's a reverb. Is, is it a reverb pedal? I mean, you would know. <laughs> All right. So anyway, I got some Q-tips. I got some. Um, Toothpicks. Oh my god, I forgot what the word was. Mostly because I want to clean out um, some of the buttons here. It's in decent shape. I cleaned these up before, but we're gonna do a little bit of cleaning on it before I start taking it apart. Not very dusty. It's really just a start. If you look, the start button is really gross. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna we're gonna clean that out. So we'll do that. And then I'll open this thing up. I also have. So I found out, ooh, wait, let's do an unboxing, right? So I um, I did open the one up, but I have not opened up the big kit. That's what the kids like these days, right? Prime energy drink and unboxing videos. I can do one of those two. Let's do it. I love, by the way, I've never had a mod kit that just gave you the screwdriver you need. Love that. Problem is, I have about 400 of these, so now we will up here. Um, I do love this mat. I got this mat a while back. And it's been, it was really helpful when I took apart the PS2. Just sort of clean that out. There we go. All good, just Ace Hardware. Ace Hardware wants to sell me some Yeti stuff, guys. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's turn this to silent for now. 
and hope that nobody needs me in the next hour or two. But yeah, that's that's the that's the new joystick. I love it. All right, hey, it's not like one. Of, look, I mean, look at this little dinky thing, right? Look at that. So that's, oh, and it, the action on it too. It's just so good. I'm really excited for that because I hate hate this one. Cool. So that's it for that one. And honestly, the instructions on both of these are pretty simple. I would say this is the more complicated of the two, but it, um, they're both, they're both pretty dead simple. Just swapping out a PCB board. All right. Hey, that's, that's the kit. This whole thing, by the way, you can get the, I was an idiot and didn't buy this all at once because I didn't realize that they had both parts. Um, but they sell this as a whole kit, I think for 40 bucks, 40 or 30. But like, I think, it, I think it's 40 bucks if you buy them both together. This part is 30 alone if you just want to swap it out and make a switch controller. And then this was 20. So I ended up paying 10 more bucks because I didn't read the site, but. Uh, still, like, 50 bucks to convert an old controller that I'm not really using because I rarely need four controllers for the N64 um, into a Switch controller that I can then use and s stop having to do that awful mapping that they do on the Pro controller for the C buttons. Like, that's a win in my book. <clears throat> Alright, see? Another, another tiny little screwdriver. I'm gonna set that over there. Take a look. So we got USB. That's what I, this is also what I love. This now becomes a USB C charged um, controller, which is great. I can just use the switch one. All right, charge cable will set up over here. This, uh, by the way, has magnets in a couple of the pieces. Like, oh, let me move the keyboard out. Like over here. These are all magnetic pads. When I have screws, I can drop them on here and they stick. I love it. Okay. This is the rumble pack. I swap it so you can see it that way. Come on, focus. There it goes. I like a little ZR button on it. That's wild. Huh. And that's gotta be, okay, right, if you're using it for the switch, so that's the, how do they do it? One of these is the screenshot button. I think this is the screenshot button, and then this is over here is the home button. This will be the sync button. Well, that's cool. All right, that you up here as well. Oop, sorry. All right, what do we got? This is the PCB board. Oh yeah, we're gonna leave this in the packaging until we're ready for it. But this is it, I mean, you can see this, what, this side here, so this is where else the C buttons? Yeah. It. Oh, it goes this way. Yep. Okay. So if you're, you guys are looking at it, this side is your C buttons. The A B button go here. Um, over here is the D pad, and then the stick will plug in through this port down here. All right. So yeah, we're gonna keep that one in the box, and we're gonna keep it off to the side until actually ready for it. Also, for the record, I this is not a sponsored stream. I bought these with my own money. However, it bit though. I'm sure you're not going to want to 
sponsor guy that has like six viewers. Hey, you never know. I'm open to it if you are. I'll do more of these mod streams. You want to send me some more cool stuff? All right, let's, let's stop begging for stuff. Let's just get to cleaning. Um, okay. Music too loud. I can handle that. Do that. All right, let me, all right. I'm gonna do my pitch again. Hey, a bit though. You want you want to see me doing more mod streams? I'd be happy to talk about it. Is uh, I think there's like a PS2 mod or something. There's a controller mod for PS2. I'd love to do. Turn it out there. No, I know you're probably not gonna wanna. I'll probably just end up buying it myself, but on the off chance. Okay. Music better now. That. Wait, I'm gonna try to move in a bit. Work that. This is the closest I'm ever gonna get to an ASMR stream. Oh. Plop it away now. A bit left. I just realized the typo on this mat is an other, <laughs> but it's spelled O T H A R. Other. I know where this mat. I just, it's funny though, because I've had this mat. I'm not gonna like spend all this button clean, but <laughs> normally I would get in here too. I mean, I could do this real fast. Every reason. I'm assuming you mean Mike, and not Kid. <laughs> That's that. I can also bring up, I can also do this and increase the mic volume. I have a pretty um, aggressive gate on it, so I had a feeling it was going to be a little bit of a, a battle. I'm going to move this back and just see how. Let's do that. Let's move it up this way. Okay. Let's try that. That might be... Yeah, it seems alright. It's too loud, let me know. Seems slightly... Alright, let's see. Yeah. 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 Let's... I'm gonna try that. And if you can't hear me, I will adjust. So, yeah, for whatever reason, like, inside there gets real dusty and I'm assuming it's just from the plastic and or whatever they use to build these things yet it just wears oh good okay that's much better glad to hear it things get filthy I don't know what the deal is and I would honestly spend more time on it but we're getting rid of it so that's good enough for me all right Oh, I do want to get around here real fast, the D-pad. Honestly, they took good care of it. Like, I've bought stuff from 
I've gotten stuff from other people where it's just sat in a basement and got gathered filth or they didn't take good care of it to begin with and then I've spent like a day cleaning it, which honestly, super relaxing. <laughs> I honestly love doing it. <laughs> but, um, no, they took care, good care of their stuff. Um, so, but you, I need like a used pile, but I'm gonna put you back up here. Okay, I mean, we're gonna crack this open. And so it's just start unscrewing. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna leave the instructions up over this way for now, and we'll come back, but. So there's, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like there's seven. And that's, oh, there's also two. Two at. Ah, I see, okay. So there's two in here as well as all the ones on the outside. So that's what we're going for. All right, so I have better screwdrivers than these, but since they gave it to me in the kit, let's give it a shot. I almost feel like I need to turn my other. I'll go here. All right, that's the first one out. Put you on LCD, because why not? I will say, you don't have to get this exact one, but if you do any kind of work uh, with these little tiny electronic screws, I do highly recommend a mat or something to this effect. There's also, there is a an, an attachment um, that I can ground myself so I don't spark anything up. Um, I am playing a bit fast and loose with that today. I'm just gonna not shuffle my feet around. Touch the metal <laughs> uh, feet on the desk to discharge every once in a while. Oop, music stopped. All right, let's kick on another, another one of these. Going through game chops. Love these guys. So we did cafe days. Oh, we gotta do nook and chill. All right, this one might be slightly. Yeah, let's bump it up a hair. If it's too loud again, let me know. But it's it's pretty soft. The Animal Crossing remix. I'm gonna turn up my own headphones because I really like it. If anybody knows out there, the one thing I don't like about having to monitor my audio through OBS is that I have to listen to it to the same volume the stream gets. And sometimes I want you guys to have a certain audio level. I want to hear it louder. <laughs> This is one of those times. I honestly probably need to get like a better audio program. But I have been lazy. And you know, I haven't streamed in six or seven months. I have started messing around with making a new stream layout with Node CG again. I've been debating on, cause my old one has just been like a hack together one back before I really knew what I was doing with both Node CG and just Node JS in general. And uh, I'm way better at Node now. <laughs> I know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> so that in JavaScript has gotten a lot better. I think I can get away with a lot more. Um, anyway, that's another conversation for another day. These are they're all coming out. They're definitely worn. They're definitely worn out a bit. All right, so we got just these two. I tell you what, I love a company that gives you the, the tools. So, one in the plus column, eight bit though. I can't complain. Everything I got, for, like I honestly love their stuff. 
I bought <laughs> I bought a second switch controller. I bought one of their Pro 2s. It was on sale recently. It is phenomenal. The only reason I still use the Pro controller is because sometimes I get uh, it doesn't turn the switch on automatically and sometimes I just want it to kick on and I don't have to deal with the TV. So then I switched back to the Pro. But it's a very good controller. I highly recommend, especially if you'd like if you're not really bought into the whole HD rumble feeling any different, because it doesn't have HD rumble. But honestly, in that Pro controller, I can't tell. Alright. These these ones in here are longer screws. Ah, come on. Oh, no, there we go. Nice. All right, cool. That should be it. So now we just... This is the delicate part. Do it this way so the buttons don't fall out. So I've taken apart... Um, a couple of controllers. Not an N64 one. Excuse me. But, um... Like a P PS2 controller? So, anyway. Oh, Xbox 360. I've taken apart an Xbox 360 controller. And I know that they have, like, a membrane layer uh, for the buttons. Uh, and that's what I don't want to have fall out on me. Because then it's a pain to put it back together. Um... Okay, cool. So we have... The shell, and honestly, the shell is in pretty good shape. Um, doesn't really look like I have to clean the inside. So, yay! Put you over here. I have two things we're gonna have to do. Let's take this out first. I think we're gonna have to do that regardless. Yes. Okay, so for this over here this is off off screen it's on my desk oh yeah I fix it baby again not a sponsor I bought it with my own money <laughs> but I am a big fan of this kit and I highly recommend it especially if you're just starting out um, tearing stuff apart So this is what we're looking for. The little spongy tool. And I guess I'll just set you over there. So let me double check and see what it's doing. Probably just pull it out. It looks like it just kind of slides out. Let's take the screws off first. I love that they're all just Phillips head screws. Would not believe how often. Go. Go on motherboard. You would not believe how often these screws are like some weird like star shape or some crazy thing that only three other companies use. And Nintendo is actually really bad for this. Um, I took apart a, a Wii controller once and it needed like a star shaped screw, which is why I bought, I have that kit that has it. And then like another set of screwdrivers just for that one. I'm assuming it's just, okay. We're not talking about that screw. Okay. There's a. As you can see it here. There's this screw and then this one. This is the one mounting it to the case. This is just for the, for the stick. I'm very curious what this looks like outside of the controller itself. But we're gonna find out. Oh, it's getting loose. That's a good sign. Do it the motherboard segment and then that always worries me. 
Figuring out what side to lose. Like I said, I can probably just get a nail in there. Alright, so that's coming out. Um, oh yeah, beautiful. Look at that. This is why we buy the tools. Right out. Oh, interesting. I mean, that is funny because it doesn't show it glued there. It also doesn't matter because this whole thing's coming out. Yeah, I don't like how that. Uh, oh, wait. Let's see. You do that. Oh, and you take this part. This slides out. See this. Break it. That's it. Okay, so that's the piece that slides onto the board. Interesting. Okay, so let me show you because I was doing this a little bit close. This part slid into here. This stays attached to the PCB board, and it has this little. Piece on the back that kind of prevents. I think this is where. It, oh, this is for the Z button. That's what this is. Yep. Press the Z button there. That's what gets your input. Okay. Yeah, definitely don't want to break the Z button, um, even though we're going to take this whole thing out. But, okay, cool. So let's put you on keyboard. And then there we go. That's our old. That's the old joystick. Get out. Give me the trash. No. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't actually mean to throw it. Uh, it's all right. We're good. We're good. It's fine. Um, I guess I can put you in other, uh, but we'll put you up here somewhere. Yeah, it's just right there. Old parts. All right, so that's this part done. And this one we're gonna slot in. That's what this bit is. Does he say? Okay, cool. All right, so we have done. The Z, yeah, we took the Z port out of the hull or of the the joystick. I mean, I think I just take this whole thing out right now. This part too always the. Put, wow, there are some fun typos on. No, it says back shell. Okay. Yeah, I could have used that once a lot. Anyway. See? If I'm careful here. I don't have to rearrange the buttons. Cool. There it is. Check it out. It's, it's, you can even see the Nintendo logo on that bad boy. Focus. There you are. Yep, check it out. Nintendo. Fun. I love see. I love looking at these old PCBs. I find that the older they are, the more descriptive they get. Whereas like some of the new ones I've taken apart. Like look at that. This one tells you right over here which C buttons. Or which, the B and the A button. Get the start. Up, right, down. Left. That's cool. I'm gonna hang on to it just in case something goes wrong. Set that up over here. And now I'm going to take a drink of water, but slide away so I don't drop it on anything. Sorry, actually, you know what? Before we get into this next bit, 
need to take a quick bathroom break. So I'm just going to put the away screen up for a couple minutes because I want to take care of that before we get into this next bit. So I'm going to go take a quick bathroom. We'll be right back in like two minutes. So just stick around. Ah, there we go. Told you I'd be back. Okay, audio is looking all right. Yep, we're gonna take a chance here to put on another good one. Why don't we go with oh, this one? Yeah, sure. Why not? I love game chops. They are quite literally about the only thing I listen to while I work now. <laughs> like perfect background music other than just like straight up video game soundtracks. I am a nerd. Okay. Honest, I will say that I've mentioned this before. I'll mention it again. The Sims soundtrack uh, is perfect. Do work to it is meant to be a background music uh, song. Ah, that's what that port plug's for. Okay, now I'm gonna good job. Eight bit does taking everything. So because we don't have a controller coming through there anymore, we would have normally had a hole. But eight bit does got you covered. A little port plug right there. That's the next step, and this is the part that's all right. This is where we. Discharge. Make sure we're not gonna zap it. This off mic. That's annoying sounds. Go right there, and here's our port plug. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so this goes in. And they want me to put it in. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Would kind of slide in. Oh, hold on. This is 
Shouldn't be the tricky bit, but you never know. Is that the way they want it? Might be. Look on this side. Can't really give you a diagram for that bit, so we're just trying it out. Sorry, not on camera. There we go. That's okay. Oh. oh yeah, look, okay. So that's that's what they're the little port plugs for. I love that. That's a good attention to detail. And that's why I like 8-bit dough stuff. Alright. I wonder if it goes yeah, because it can't go that way, it has to go in that way. Right. Or nip, nope, that's the way it's supposed to go. Yep. That makes the most sense. Well, that's good. All right, now I know how that goes in there and it's in there. This is the part be extra careful on. So we put the PCB back in this way. Now what this is? Oh, these are, are these for the Z buttons? Damn that. Oh, that's what this bit's for. Mm-hmm. I got you, Nintendo. All right. I'm going to put you over here. Do you as well. So, we had to take the little plastic button bits, the membranes off of these. Because this is the old Z and L on top. That's what this part is here. This is the right, the left. Why they chose to do it that way? Not a super big fan of. <laughs> now I have to figure out how that fits. Although this is the backwards view of it, so I have time to adjust it. I think that's yep. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yep. There's all the ports that fit in, and then oh, these. Which way they go in is a question. I'm looking here. Okay, so this is helpful. I think these tuck in like this. I'm not super worried about that at the moment. We're gonna figure it out. It's these these ones up here I'm a little worried about how they're in there, but not the most important bit at the moment. They really, that's the, I will say that's the one thing they really skip over in the instructions. Is, um, how to get these sitting in there, right? That makes sense, like that. Yep. This one. Whatever reason, to go like that. Yeah. All right. That looks right to me. Got the way these. Are. Slide in. Sorry, this is off screen. It's just really fiddly. Taskmaster thing pop in my head or Mark Watson can only say like certain words and he just decides to say fiddly over and over again. Yeah, see so you got one side in. Hmm. 
be real nice. Oh, you know what? They do kind of have a little port for the buttons. Little knobby bits to sit on there. I bet if I put those, yep. Wow, that actually fits really well. One over here. Look at that. Now we have a oh, beautiful. Okay, that's a button working. And we do the same thing on this side. There's always one bit. It doesn't matter which one of these you do. Where be that one little thing where you're like they never really gave me a good clear instruction on it and then you just want to or you're going to break it and this is that part for me however I have to say that went in a lot better we got our shoulder buttons back great now I can put this back in Let's figure out. So this gets wired into here. Let's get this screwed back in. I think that's going to be real helpful overall. Saying that, let's get this bit on it in. Just a slide in. Not like that. I'm gonna force it. How does that sort of apparently it just sort of snaps on? I like that. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> That already makes a lot more sense. All right, cool. And that goes on there. Hmm. We're probably gonna keep that part off though for now. All right. Doing. Nice, we got it. I don't, okay. Those little bits are out. A view out of the way. Okay. Where is one of my many tiny screwdrivers? Let's get you back off the table. And we're going to let's see if I can actually bring this out just a bit more. Yeah, there we go. Now you can actually see what I'm doing here. Bring it down. Hey, I should have did that sooner, huh? Okay, yep. He realizes it way too late into the stream that he could have just done one of these numbers, huh? So. I'm going to try to line this up as best we can. There we go. If there's one word of advice, well, I give a lot of advice about doing this, but uh, let's just say one piece of advice at this stage is uh, do not over tighten the screws, especially when it comes to the PCB boards. Just, just get it snug. That is fine. The last thing you want to do is put too much pressure on the board and then crack it at the last minute. Luckily this wasn't an expensive kit, but still. It's long to move this the camera in. Hey, first time doing one of these. We're learning. I'm, like, I'm glad I cut my fingernails at least <laughs> for this stream. All right. Ooh, I'm already liking the feel of that that new stick on there. That's a good good change. 
buttons up here I'm gonna have to get back on. L goes here. Oh yeah, look at that. Huh? Sure that's hidden as we expect, and it is. Name over here. Yep. That feels right. This bit here. Sit down. Just move it back. About right there. That's pretty good. This is the step I'm on here. Make sure, of course, it doesn't tell me which way it's supposed to go in. Oh, there, it just goes in through the bottom. Well, that's nice. Oh, what? No, what happened? Oh boy. Right, it's a fun thing that just happened. Oh, these two just came loose. <laughs> Out of their port. And I don't know which one they went in. Okay. Well, that was fun. So the stick might not work. I've never had that happen before. Might have to take the stick back out. Alright, I'm gonna slide. No, nope, I keep sliding back out. I can't believe that. I have never. That happened before. No, they're in there. Better for worse. Terrifying. When, you know, the wires aren't what you expect. Make sure that I have it going the right way. I don't. That's part of the problem. Yep, there we go. I think we're clear. Although, I don't like how those are. You're coming out. Come on. There we go. They're on the pins. <laughs> That's scary. Um, so to recap, in case this happens, for whatever reason, I've never seen this happen before with any of these kids. Um, these two... Actually, this one was loose as well. The thing I'm worried about now is I don't have them in the right order. But... I mean, look, we'll find out. If I put it on and the stick isn't working right, we'll, I will take it apart another time fun of dealing with this stuff I guess the green one is all the way over I mean I can take it out again but I'm a little afraid to do so so I think they're lined up right I think it's just them having to cross over like this is what what has them looking weird but these three wires came loose out of the blue um, connector and I just kind of had to put them back in and then I had to use the blunt end of this to just kind of make sure that they are actually connected onto the pins, which they do seem to be solidly on the pins. Um, that is a little troubling, but why we have the old stick, <laughs> I guess in case all else fails. A much shorter cable too. Hmm. All right. Anyway, 
That's why we don't throw away parts. Making sure things look like they're lining up. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look like any of these crossed over. I think we're going to take a chance on it. Feel okay about it, and worse comes the worse. Take it apart and pop ports around, but I think we're okay. Yeah, this is loose. I had to force it in. Whew. Hope they do a better soldering job on the other ones. Let me just say that. That is wild. I've never seen that before. Kind of push the wires down a little bit so that I can get the other bits on. This is in place and fine. Cover on. On there with a little bit of help. Work, but no. That feels right. Okay. I think that's it. <laughs> All these buttons up here. All right, so the right one. Good. It is the membrane. The membrane is always the worst part of these buttons. Because it's like the minute you take the shell off, it no pressure on it. There's the part where it's like. That slid off. Always going to be one of these. button button lining everything up there we go nope nope right shoulder button it's just that button okay all right all right all right all right all right all right like yes yeah, every time I pull this one out the left side wants to... this is a terrible design for these by the way if you ask me when I took the PS one I took one of those controllers apart shoulder buttons were their own separate board but they were still like loosely attached like they were more so they didn't like just sort of float this one does go fine
gently now. I hate these shoulder buttons. I hate them. I hate them so much. Like, I have them lined up. It's just... Get in there. Let's make sure that, like... This connects, this connects, this connects, this, this, this. I just want, I think like clearance is a problem somewhere. Please, that's fine. C button. Those are tight on there. I think I'm gonna have to put some screws in. It feels okay. I think this might be one of those times where we're gonna have to start tightening up and see how it how it feels. Make sure there's nothing loose in there. That is interesting. It doesn't have this little shieldy bit. Ah, you know why? Because it doesn't need it. We have that bit. I was like, why does that look really different? The rumble pack is completely sad, probably because it's a battery. So it doesn't need to have the same. Two screws in there. Part here is, I think that's the wires. They're probably making it a bit more. We're up here. I just really want to get these screws back in so that I can um, make sure that the shoulder buttons are okay. That might be the, the new board though. All right, let's see how we're feeling on the front. Still feel right. Um, yep, that feels like a shoulder button. That feels like a shoulder button. Still have all the button presses. I think I just need to get it tightened up. Step from the bottom. Oop, we are without music again. Now, yeah, let's do this. There we go. I will say there's always a part of the project that makes me start to sweat a bit. <laughs> no matter which one of these I've done. Even though they've all worked out. Yep, see that's fine. That's sitting in there. Um, there's always one part where you're just like, uh, I think I might have messed it up forever. Ooh, yep, that just that just That's the sound of uh, something clicking into place. You know what? It still feels okay. I'm a little... Wires all appear to be lined up. Now we're just gonna... We're just gonna go with it.
Here, Miyamoto, take the wheel. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, over here is like. And then not lined up for some reason. There it goes. I think some of those bits are supposed to click in like that, and I just was too afraid. That, because that was the side that felt loot. Oh, yeah. Those button presses feel better already. Get you. So I have my switch. <clears throat> It's behind me, but I'm going to bring it over here so we can get this tested out. Last screw. Let us all cross our fingers. Hope that I did not break this. Ooh, look at all that. This is a little dirtier than I thought it was. All right. So just to check. That's Z button feeling good. Doesn't look loose. I mean, the joystick feels good. I'm a little, we'll see if I the ports are working. If not, that might be a out on customer service. Um, shoulder buttons are in place. I can see in here they're not loose. I'm hitting the buttons. Those are working. D pad. Start button. A B buttons. Okay, yeah, that's feeling all right. Then we plug this in, I'm assuming this way. Oh yeah. That, we got a blue light, that's a good sign. I mean, that's pretty slick. I mean, obviously if I would have picked the gray, I have a gray controller. But I mean, come on, we got we got the translucent one. Let's do it. This I can already tell you, I love so much more. This is gonna make actually playing through Zelda not a pain in the ass. <laughs> Great. Yeah. All right. Cool. So I mean, while we're here. Do a double check on the back screws and make sure no one be tightened any further. Especially now that they kind of click into place. Yes, like that one's a little loose. That one's good. 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 And good. Yeah. All right, we're not gonna twist them too hard. Cool. All right. I'm here. Hard to tell on the doesn't matter. All right, you guys. That is it put back together. Now we're at the moment of truth. We actually try it out. Um, oh, see, this is nice. It gives you, um, most of the 8 bit dev stuff I've, I've noticed has this where it's like, come on, focus in. The S and the D. So the S is for switch. I'm not really sure what the digital, I don't know, D pad or not X input. So I don't, not really sure. But anyway, point is. Hooray! So if I ever get an N64 uh, emulator working, I can then do that as well. New stick. Love it. Alright. So I'm going to go grab the switch, which is behind me, and we're going to sync this thing up. And then this has a instruction on how to do that. Here we go. Right there. For the switch. Make sure we turn to S. Press start to turn on the controller. The pair button is uh, this one right here, which makes sense. If it focuses, you'll be able to see Got the three little wavy lines on it. 
Okay, D input is what that other one is. It's in the manual. Uh, so yeah, these are the... The star button is... This is the one for screenshots. This is the one to go home on the Switch. Let's turn this thing on. Go to controller, pairing new controllers. Probably find. Change grip order. We're gonna hit start on this. And we're gonna hold this. Three. All right, so now we're in pairing mode because it's blinking like crazy. Oh. Look at that, it even shows up as the N64 controller. That's so cool. All right, so I'm gonna show you on here and I'm gonna switch over to the TV. That's our new controller. That's all, I didn't even know it came up like that. Cool. All right. Um, that's a good sign. Up and down. Seem to be okay. I don't think the switch has a way to be like, hey, check your, do a controller test. Does it? Does it change button mapping? Cannot remap. Well, that's fine. Is there a way to? Uh, calibrate and control sticks. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, we did it. Okay, so just just to show you what I'm doing here. Um, this is the stick we just paired. It is working as anticipated. Oh. I was honestly terrified about that part. Okay, we're in the clear. We did it. All the other buttons seem to be working. Um, test input devices, test controller buttons. B. Oh, yep, here we go. This, this'll be good. The B, A. That's what those are getting treated like, which are all correct. Up, down, left, right. R, L, Z, L. Oh, and they have to put a Z, R because there is no other button on there. So cool. All right. We did it, guys. You know, that means it's time to put this thing on the TV and try it out. Um, all right, so you're gonna have to give me a second here. Um, I'll probably, well, I have it plugged in. I do need to get studio mode up here so that I can, let's leave you. Let's go here and then I can do some switching around. Let's, all right. I'm gonna have to move webcams I know I am because I'm gonna be sitting at a different angle um, so let's go to the game one and we're gonna switch the webcam uh, I'm gonna switch it here and I'm gonna have to Make this one. Oh, right. Now I have to just put a new one in there, huh? Well, let's get the other thing working, huh?
So this is just me trying to get this uh, synced to the right thing. Okay, this is good. Which is on the TV. Which means that I can go into here. Not touch that one. <laughs> Turn PC capture off. Uh huh. Deactivate and reactivate. it is working let's switch to a different feed sometimes you gotta do that and it wants to play nice there we are hey okay Ooh, been a been a bit since I've used it If I could preview this, yes, I can. Which one is which? This one. Cool. Like, I need to. Actually, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna leave it. That's all right. Cool. All right. So I know you guys can't see it. I'm doing some magic off screen. Let's switch it over to here. All right. Look at that. We're on there. Um, you're going to have to give me a second with the webcam. I'm going to shut me off for one second. Oh, I'm away. Oh, no. Um, and I'm gonna have to switch my NVIDIA. That's not the right one. This is the one. Camera. Switch it. To this one here. Oh boy. <laughs> we'll, we will see how this goes. Probably gonna see the back of my head. Well, yeah, I know the source camera is busy. Duh. Um, right, I have to actually like stop using it. So over here, I have to switch this to literally anything else. And then this one I'm allowed to use now. Whoop. Sorry about that. You guys need to wait. <laughs> um, when did that? Oh, you have to be kidding me. Um, <laughs> okay. This is the problem of having to switch cameras on the fly. Let's see. Yeah, I know the camera source changed. I get it. There we go. That's like the side camera. We'll go with that. Give it a shot. As I have to turn around. Well, this is going to be not a great solution. I know you guys can't see me yet. But it, it is what it is. Yeah, it's fine. I'm gonna have to see a closet door. Right, you know what? Yeah. Ooh, monitors are getting 
moved around. Okay, though. All right. You guys can almost see me. All right. No, let me deactivate and reactivate. Hey, <laughs> there I am. All right. That is all to say. Swap around. I'm like so close to just tip it. Like everything's about to go off the rails because I did not plan for this part. Eh. Yeah, I know. I know. Switch. We're having we're having issues. I should just use the monitor. Why am I even doing all this? I couldn't just use the mirror because <laughs> I don't trust it. Like how? I mean, honestly. That's pretty good. What am I even doing? We're just gonna use the the monitor here. So, uh, yep, we can do that. That's fine. Let us deactivate this again so that I can go in here and switch this camera back. Move this back. I hope that it did not sever any cords. There we go. So I'm just going to use my second monitor here, even though it's on the TV behind me. It is fine. We will we will adjust. We will deal. Right, which one is the one? This is the one I want to. Oop. And now we're going to shut the background music off. This is VB Aux. We're going to mute that. <laughs> I hope that isn't. Okay, that's only just. Um... I'm not actually even sure what that one is. I think VB Aux might have been. Default capture device. That's why you guys. It was probably a webcam or some crap like that. Apologize for the echo. We're good now. That's muted. I'm gonna go through the rest of it just to make sure. Yeah, that's pretty good. We might turn that down a bit more. Yeah, it seems alright. Uh, maybe a little higher than that. I'm going to keep futzing with it, so let's just do that. So we have game audio, me, and we will mute Windows because Windows doesn't need to be there. We can. Uh, don't need it. Don't need this one either. Now I can actually see things. You guys, I'm out of practice. I'm an old man. All right, let's get rid of you. Well, let's minimize you. We'll be back for you in a bit. And then I will put this over here so I can finally see things. Oh, I love it. Okay. I mean, let's not even pretend like we're not just going to go straight to Majora's Mask, but uh, we should try out something else first. We're going to do Pokemon Snap. I'm going to update ZR. Oh, they put the ZR port on that one. Look at that. We're still, I love that, man. I love it. I'm gonna switch and we're gonna say Pokemon Snap. Okay. 
So I have... I've been playing this. Let's just load. Let's load that save point. Of course I would like to keep going. This course... Check it out. Oh right, it's inverted. I forgot. It's not the stick's fault, that's the game. The game does inverted. Ooh, been a while. Been a while. I played this. Whoop. Whoop. Might have been an okay one. Whoa. Come on, Slowpoke. I gotta lead him over. Take him. my dude. I will just do this. Hey, go. Do it. Do the thing. Yep. I did that a little sooner. Huh? You gotta make me wait for it. Yeah, slow bro. I think I need to do this. Yep. Look at that. Probably too close. That's funny. I've never, <laughs> I've never bothered to like shoot them down. See what happens. All right. See, I did not have the little... Ooh. What about Psyduck? What did I do with Psyduck? I drugged him. Ah, oh, man, I... Yeah, all the good stuff. What's going on here? Oh, they're gone! Probably Porygon. It's Porygon and... Oh, there's so many of them now. There's like Porygon Y and Porygon Z. Alright, see, I'll see if I'm... If I did good at all. I mean, this one of Poliwag is honestly better. Oh, yeah, like 100%. Let's go with that one. Yeah, I'd say that's a better shot, but not by much. Hmm. Maybe not. Nope, because it's not centered. The stickler for that, even though that's artistic license. Come on, man. Slowpoke, I definitely have better shots of Slowpoke. I'm gonna skip that one. Why does it keep doing that? That's so weird. There we go. Mmm. He's not looking at me. I'll try it. Now this one... I feel like they're all better? Like, but like... Why not? Let's do that one. Ah, uh, see, I got multiple in the last one. 
but he's facing the camera. And I think that's it. Alright. Album mark. Yep. Oh, I can save some in the album. I have not been doing this. <laughs> Excuse me. Ugh. Alright. Alright, let's see how judgy he gets. So the size has to be better than the first one. Yeah. Wait. Again. I mean, I guess he's... I guess if this is scientific research, like... Well done. This makes sense, but that was still a much better photo. But like, who cares if it's in the center? I love that I'm trying to justify, like, a... 25 year old game scoring mechanics. Eh. Yeah, but it pose isn't great. Yep, it was pose that. Screwed me over there. That's fine. This one has to be better. We'll see. Sorry, this is so dang noisy, but... So, so, it couldn't be any closer. You were close. That's bull. Okay. I should have known. This is what I'm gonna not do well on. Yeah, Alright. It's... Yep, technique is good. It's the same Pokemon bonus. I still did better though. Wait. Well, I got it because I got a new area. Nice. All right, so let's do this real quick. I'll create a new suspend point. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Ooh. Try this out. Ooh, I missed them. I missed them. Oh, you're a ditto. I know you're a ditto. Get over here. These all, no, yeah, they're all dittos. There's one, li nope, they're all dittos. I know what you're doing. Whoop. Whoop, got him. Yeah, you're welcome, Jigglypuff. Nothing there. Alright. Is this a weeping bell? Get back here! Victory Bell. I could never remember what the evolution for that one was. One. Get him! Oh well. What's going on down here? That's a jinx, for sure. Uh. 
I missed it. Let's get... yeah. What's going on there? I need something else, I think. Yep, that's the end of the course. Yay, it's Jigglypuff singing Jigglypuff. Drug it. Think. Entirely unprofessional of me. I mean, so far this thing's working good. I mean, look at that. It's so great. I mean, it's connected to the other side of the room. Everything works. The new stick is great. Okay. I mean... There's no way that's gonna be better, but why not? It's not like I can lose. That's not a good Bulbasaur. I mean, it's not Bulbasaur. It's Ditto, but. That's a much better Ditto photo, I think. Yeah, let's go with that one. Why not? Yes, Victory Bell. They're both? I mean, that one's slightly more centered. It's not a good one to jinx, but I need one to start with. Alright, yeah, that works. Is multiple, but right. I think it's bull that if you don't get centered, you don't get the other bonuses. I'll get something because I'll be like, Wait, what's going on? It's, it doesn't look right. Yeah, I'll take it. This is looking behind me, by the way. Okay, yeah. Wonderful. Hey, I'll take that. Yeah, this is, yeah, that was like a good one. Size will be bad. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Welcome back. All right, well, let's make a, a suspend point there. And that's cool. Uh, but now we gotta switch. Team selection. Okay, so now we're going to Majora's Mask. Update it again. There we go. I have started one. really bad at this game. Well, it's not that I'm bad, I just haven't really played it for more than two hours without an N64 dying on me.
boss game boss game books i mean i don't need to worry about my button mapping i have this bad boy Oh, suspend menu. Yeah, <laughs> we're good. Look at that capture button on there. That's so cool. I'm so glad that works. I don't want to attack the dog. I don't want no. I'm sorry, dog. Don't go in the water. <laughs> oh, there it is. I hate. There is some some way to deal with the. Oh, he doesn't like me because I'm in the Deku mask. I do not remember. Gray fairies at the north gate. Okay, um, how do I get my stuff back? I'm in West Clock Town, so that's probably not the right way to go. North Gate, North Gate. But he won't let me out. I'm at South Clock Town. Owls. Hmm. Like that dog. The East Clock Town. I was gonna say it's boss games. Oh, no, wait. It's not boss games, it's boss level books? I think. I can't remember the. They're on Kickstarter. What is it? I think it's. Is it boss game books or boss level books? Um, they just, like, they have series of books about games. They pick good uh, authors to write about games that they like. Um, there's a really good one on Majora's Mask. I highly recommend it. If you're at all interested in how the game was put together, it is. Honestly, pretty fascinating. Especially when you realize how little time they were given, and they just had to reuse pretty much everything um, from uh, Ocarina of Time. And they were only given a year to make it. Yeah, no, I gotta get to North Clock Town, so I'm trying to do. Dive into here. That's not at all what I wanted to do. Oh well. And for the north gate. I think, I think this is it. Come on. East Clock Town, so I have to go up this way. I bet it's where the guard is, because the guard doesn't like me being Deku. Nope, can't go in there yet. 
would put me in... No, that's right, okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is it. Now start to open, but I don't really have anything. Yeah, let's talk to this creep. Oh, Tangle. He's 35 years old. I always forget that part. Uh. Do I have any money? I guess I do. Yay! Tangle. Oh, Tangle. I guess. That's the mountains. Okay, so that's outside the town. No, that's not where we're going. Gray Fairy is up around here somewhere. Figure out. Nailed it. Oh no! I guess I'm going down in there. Whoop. I'm gonna do well at this. I know I'm not. I'm gonna give this a shot and then we will wrap it up. Because I have other house things to do, but. Oh, wait. Nope! Oh. I didn't know. I don't have the rupees. That's not what I wanted at all. Get out of here. Oh. I'm glad for that. <laughs> to find the stray fairy. Okay. I mean, we'll give it a shot. Our container up there. But Got to fo Oh, look at I now that I have the map, it's a lot easier. Of course. There. Ah, there you are. That's why I need. Yay! 
Got it. I like his little shuffle noise. <laughs> back into here and we get the, the fairy back. That I might not be a Deku anymore. Yep. <laughs> what the gray fair looks like on the N64. <laughs> hey. Gaining a heart. Oh, okay. Here, press B to shoot bubble blasts. Okay. Ah, yes. Okay. Okay. Well, let's head out. Uh, let's see, I'll have the observatory. So that's in Southtown. Here he lives outside the observatory. Yeah, I know. Oh wait, is that what this little thing on the map is? That dog <laughs> getting on my nerves. <laughs> that is the case. Uh, okay. I really feel like te uh, Tears of the Kingdom it shares a lot of similarities with Majora's Mask in so much as that it is a game, a Zelda game built off another Zelda game's engine. Um, but just the like the town mechanic in this one, they just reuse the town a lot and you kind of have to go in and out. That's the 72 hour thing. Whereas Tears of the Kingdom, they have the that one lookout point that you can really use. Jim. I have to ah, Jim. I have to see Jim in North Clock Town. Oh no. Oh, there he is. Uh huh. Pervert. <laughs> oh, this is Jim. Alright, this kid. Yep. And pop that balloon. Oh, yeah. Okay, I got this. Oh, don't love this. Oh, I got it. Okay. Nope. Sorry, this pervert's doing something. Nope. Go back. God. Where'd he go? Oh, I lost him. Well, that's a shame. I 
get it. I screwed it up. I'm just trying to talk to this kid. Breaking. Oh wait, do I have to do the... There it is. See that gym. Time for that. <laughs> All right, let's go back to here. Cool. All right. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by and hanging out. Um, and if you're watching this on the archive, thanks for thanks for checking it out there. Um, this is cool. This is really cool. I'm glad um, we got it together and it worked because I was a little worried about that that extra the new stick uh, thing. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean, check it out, 8 Do site. Again, they're not sponsoring this, so you don't have to do it. But it's pretty neat. I like it so far. I'm going to have to charge this battery up. Um, it is a rumble port, too. I haven't really noticed the rumble, but I don't know how many of the games I have support that. Check that out. Oop, and that breaks. So we're going to wait for that to end. <laughs> for the live stream anyway yeah uh that's awesome i mean check out what what we accomplished today that's the old stick goodbye garbage i keep dropping it yep so that garbage stick is done and then i have this which i will hang on to um just in case I like the way they bent the cables there. I'm not super happy with how I did mine, but then again, they're strong. They're in there, and that's what matters. These these were these bits were the worst part, the little shoulder button bits. If you've never modded before, I will say I think that's a pretty good first mod to try, especially if you're not one. Like I know they just got back in stock. But if you do happen to have one of these lying around, or four in my case, I mean, 50 bucks, I think that's what they're selling the N64 ones for. And not only that, but I have a rechargeable one and I have a much better stick than I originally had. So, yeah, I mean, 30 bucks just gets you that. Not bad. And now I feel more comfortable playing N64 games on my Switch. So that's pretty cool. All right. Well, hey, thanks for hanging out. Um, I don't know when the next one of these will be. I want to do it again. Now that honestly, now that I have this built, we might keep playing Majora's Mask. Yeah, I just I'm just trying to figure out like how much time do I really want to spend in my office in a week? <laughs> and so far, the answer's been not a lot. But anyways, you know, we'll figure it out. Uh, but this was fun. So thanks for thanks for hanging out. Uh, the archives are over at YouTube. YouTube.com. Wait, wait, no, no. What's the at? Okay, it's YouTube.com slash at Panic Switch Plays. That'll get you to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm on Mastodon. I'll throw that out there. Uh, Panic Switch at Mastodon dot online. Not social. Dot online. Follow me over there. I'm trying out the Fediverse. It's a much better option than anything going on with X right now. <laughs> um, that's it. Yeah. If you follow, yeah, if you follow me on Mastodon, you get. Uh, I'll usually throw a thing out there. I'm going live, or you can just follow me here and get those notifications. So, cool. This was a fun, a fun little project it's a very easy one so I, I highly recommend it if you're looking for something to try um, all right on that note let's call it a stream and let me bring up the music so we can play it we will play out 
Cool. All right. Until next time, guys. Thanks for hanging.